Hi Aries, it's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. This is your love reading for June. Well, we're starting with love. Um, I'm doing a, a different spread this month, so let me know how you like it. If you don't like it, just let me know and I will do a mid-month for you guys with the Celtic Cross. Okay, so let's see how you see yourself in your relationship this month. What is happening from your perspective? Ooh, we have the Six of Wands reversed, so you're not feeling like things are going too well. Let's see your partner. Maybe you're just not feeling very confident. Your partner has the Knight of Wands reversed, so your partner kind of feels stuck, um, lacking in motivation as well. So, how they see you. The Seven of Cups reverse. Hmm. So maybe they see you as like no longer being confused or no, no longer being... Um, under some sort of spell or something like you're seeing reality now or they're they're seeing your reality of like who you are possibly how you see them the empress reverse so you don't see them as being very caring or nurturing the way that they used to be i feel like they're not showing you the same amount of passion like you maybe you feel like they're no longer attracted to you um I'm kind of feeling like you guys are not being intimate. Hmm. Let's take a look. What happened in the past? And you guys may not be um, intimate because I, I'm kind of feeling like you're not feeling that good about yourself. You're not feeling sexy. Um, there's some kind of like insecurity here as well. And maybe your partner perceives that as rejection. So they start to feel insecure and it's, it's sort of cycle here. All right. In the past, we have the Six of Swords reverse. So yeah, you guys have been having some issues that you've been having trouble getting out of for quite a while. Um, unresolved issues that have been carrying on from the past. Present energy, we have the Sun reverse. So there's a certain lack of joy, a lack of clarity. There may be confusion here. Okay future two swords reverse so someone's going to make a decision or gain clarity to do something here what is the overall outcome six of pentacles okay so maybe we achieve some balance we have the hierophant reverse with the knave of cups reverse Ooh. The Devil and the Two of Swords. Hmm. I feel like there's someone in the relationship who struggles with temptation. Um, I feel this is someone who has a tendency to be very flirtatious or to, to kind of be in love with love. So it's easy for them to get kind of swept up in relationships and find themselves in relationships with two people. Um, yeah, so let's see. That may not apply to all of you, but I do feel like it is an issue in somebody's marriage here. Why do you see yourself as the Six of Wands reverse? Ace of Pentacles. Whoa, Three of Swords. So I'm kind of getting that you have um, given your partner chance after chance after chance. I feel like you gave them another second chance. It was like a new beginning for the two of you and it it's not going well there's still heartbreak here things are not going the way as promised all right let's see why your partner is the knight of wands reversed you may be dealing with another fire sign aries leo sagittarius or they have this in their chart oh the tower
the two of pentacles. So let's see. Nine of chalices. I, I do feel like your partner is finding themselves in a situation where they they're thinking about somebody else. There's somebody that that they desire or that someone who desires them and they just came into their life unexpectedly. Um, but whatever this is, the situation has the potential to really cause a blow up in, in your relationship with this tower energy here. You may be dealing with a Scorpio uh, as well, or um, yeah, I'm feeling more like water, like Scorpio energy here. Um, but but it's definitely something that they desire they they even ha go back and forth like should you know debating whether or not it's like they're holding themselves back from causing this tower moment in your relationship but there is something that they want to pursue that they're very much desiring. So I feel like it, it can be another person that they're holding themselves back from. Why do they see you as the Seven of Cups reverse? The Moon. King of Pentacles. I feel like they know that you're aware. You have seen something that was in the darkness, that was hidden. You have seen sort of past an illusion that this person is this King of Pentacles, like so, such a responsible, you know, head of household type of person. And they, they're really not. They're not as um, committed as they may have appeared to be. So your partner. So you're, you're thinking that, or they're thinking that, of you that of how you see them and stuff two of wands reverse yeah i i feel like you they're they are aware that you know maybe you've got you guys have had this conversation like oh you're are you interested in so and so or or do you have somebody else or something like that but i feel like they they know you know okay how you see them is the empress reverse and actually, Empress Reverse can be somebody who is um, uh, promiscuous or who cheats. No. King of Swords Reverse. Oh my goodness. So the, yeah, they see you as just not being warm at all very ruthless, very unfeeling, insensitive hangman and and just not kind of being stuck, not not making not taking any action, just being cold. In the past, the 6 of swords strength reverse. I feel like somebody hasn't had the courage to be able to um, move away from this relationship. Yeah, see the new beginning. It's always been a choice, Aries. Um, you can always have this new beginning and explore what else is out there because I, I just don't get the sense that you are happy and I feel like you've tried. You've tried over and over and you keep finding yourself uh, in a state of heartbreak and, and, and a feeling of failure. I don't feel like there is much stability in this relationship. I, I feel like it's kind of a facade. Oh, okay, let's see what that is. The Emperor, so this is your card. Yeah, you know, I feel like in your own fear of letting this situation go or just letting it take its course, the fear is making you try to take control of the situation and, and that may, may be making things worse. Let's see, Two of Swords. Eight of Cups.
Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords reverse. So either you, Aries, or your partner, but somebody here, I feel, is very close to deciding um, to kind of cut this relationship out or like moving towards walking away, taking the steps to walk away from this situation. So it's either you or your partner, but I feel like if there's anything holding this person back, it's it's really just fear. It's not um, so much like the relationship itself because I don't feel like you guys have been in a good place. There's no joy here. We've, we have the sun reverse. Let's see why. Three of Pentacles reverse because you're not working well together. This is not teamwork. There's an imbalance. You're not working toward the same goal. Four of Cups reverse because I'm telling you, somebody is not putting the effort because they really, inside, they just want to let go. And I, I, unfortunately, I feel like it's your partner. I feel like they've already kind of checked out of the relationship. They just haven't let you know. You see five of pentacles. You guys are together, but you're really apart. You know, sometimes you could be surrounded by people and still feel lonely. And that's what this feels like. You're completely surrounded by people, but you feel like you're alone. Overall outcome is the six of pentacles. Five of cups reverse. Okay, that's good. So there is some balance that is achieved here overall. Um, you may receive actually an apology. Let's see. Maybe maybe your partner realizes. Temperance. Okay, yeah. So there may be like a reconciliation. Six of Swords. Um, I feel like there's definitely effort that's being put in here uh, in the future to bring so, uh, some balance here to uh, smooth over the hard feelings, the hurt feelings, and like I said, have some, some reconciliation. Let me get one more. Hmm. For some reason, I want to choose another because I have a feeling that, hold on, the fool, yeah. The more I looked at the cards, I felt like this wasn't really... I'm not really getting that that this relationship is going to be worked on more like there's a, a reconciliation in the sense of like um, coming to terms with something but there is going to be a new beginning I just feel like you know these cards are kind of telling me that this is this is just something that is destined to happen okay so whatever is the best thing to happen for you and for your partner that is what's going to happen that is what's going to come together the universe has already decided there's going to be a new beginning okay but i do feel like you what's going to happen is that like i said there's going to be a coming to terms uh, forgiveness um being able to see things in a more balanced way in in, in a way of not continuing to insist upon having things the way you thought they should have been, but just having, uh, like, there's a letting go. 
and uh, an acceptance of how things have to be because the universe says so, not because you thought it. Um, because overall, you know, with the Hierophant reverse and the Knave of um, Chalices reverse and the Devil, I just, I'm sorry, but I just don't see the stability that the, the relationship is not stable enough for someone who, you know, is so emotionally affected in this relationship to be able to resist temptation that is around because I do feel there is temptation around here for someone there's someone or something that somebody else, somebody is desiring and I feel like the more issues you have in in your relationship the less this person is going to be able to resist uh, another opportunity okay so I feel like this is about finding mental and emotional balance um, you know maybe even putting some energy into yourself with this fool card, like just going off on your own and just finding the balance for yourself. But whatever is happening, it's for, for the best. Um, okay, so I feel like this is going to be a bit drawn out. I don't, I don't think this is all happening in June. I mean, a lot of it may be happening, but um, definitely changes changes for you Aries okay let me pull a cosmic reading card for you and see what the message is okay what does Aries need to know this month of June 2019 what does Aries need to know most Ooh, you've gotten the most cards out of all the signs we have awaken balance and free spirit yeah um again awaken is like this new beginning you are awakening to like a new you a new way of thinking a new way of seeing things um a spiritual awakening definitely i'm feeling um then we have the number two uh which is about balance So I do feel that this is very much about you. This this um, this change is going to help you focus on yourself. We have free spirit here. So again, free spirit and one of the last cards you got was the fool. So that is the fool. That's a new beginning and one in three is four. So I feel like your new beginning is going to be just within yourself finding yourself finding the true you because what I'm feeling here is that the relationship that you're currently in was very draining and I feel like you almost lost yourself in that relationship you identified yourself as just being a part of that relationship a part of that couple um, and the problem with that was that the that couple was lacking balance and so in turn you were lacking balance um, I just don't feel that your partner is on the same, like you don't have the same goals. Um, maybe you've grown apart, you know, that happens. And so I feel like your new normal is going to be yourself, your free spirit. You're finding balance, finding yourself, who you really are, and that you're creating your own foundation as a result of that. Um, but I feel like, you know, this girl, you could see like her long hair. This is like bringing out the courage in you the desire the drive the fire in you and it's it's making you be courageous enough to go out there and just face the world alone but in order to do that you have to allow for this new beginning this awakening to happen and and find your balance in that okay so it may be a bit tough but i think it's definitely for your own good all right aries let's move on to your finance and career reading See what's going to be happening here in June. Okay, what's happening for Aries? We have the Two of Cups reversed, the Three of Swords reversed. All right, let's see what happened in the past.
King of Pentacles. Chariot Reverse. And the Three of Pentacles Reverse. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. Um... So there may, this may be like a boss, an authority figure, um, someone you have to answer to. And I feel like you're feeling a bit threatened. I don't know that the relationship between you and this person is very good. Um, I feel like you have to work on that relationship or a relationship with someone here who has authority over you. Uh, because if you don't, I feel like it is going to hinder or is hindering this month your progress. And in turn, if your progress in your career is hindered, that affects your money. All right. So you may be missing out on bonuses, promotions, things like that with this five of pentacles. There's a sense of lack here. Um, I do feel like things can get better there. You can find balance, but it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. I almost feel like, uh, you know, you have trouble because you feel like you can't trust people around you. You feel like they, there's someone who's like working against you. Um, yeah, there may be a blow up here. Hmm. A very tumultuous relationship here with somebody at work. And it's definitely, it has the potential to affect your, your employment and your, your money, like I said. So let's see. Who is this King of Pentacles? Why is he here? Six of Cups reverse. So yeah, I don't, I just don't feel this is somebody who you get along with. There's like not very um, warm and fuzzy feelings between the two of you. This person may be like completely overbearing. We have, what's this? The Magician reverse and the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. <coughs> it's someone you just don't have good feelings towards or they don't have good feelings toward you but they hold a lot of power and they do have the power to cause stagnancy um, and a lack of manifestation for you. Okay, so two of cups reverse. Until you um, fix this relationship somehow, you won't be able to move on or to, you know, like find success. I, I feel like you have to find a way to work with this person. Two of cups reverse. Yeah, see the Ace of uh, Pentacles, and this is the Knight of Swords reverse. It may have been a misunderstanding, like poor communication between the two of you. Let's see what this Three of Swords reverse is. Five of Wands. Um, there may have been a job offer or a promotion offer here, but they, I feel like this person in authority chose somebody else and you felt a certain way about it. You felt like that was the wrong decision. You felt slighted. You felt disrespected. Um, but I'm feeling like, you know, maybe you don't see the whole story. You don't know the whole story. Whoever got that position or that promotion or whatever it was, you don't know their body of work and maybe you think you do, but there's, there may be things that you just don't know. Um, and so this person may even feel disrespected because you're questioning their decision. Five of cups reverse. Honestly, I hate to say this, but I, I almost feel like this is something that you just have to get over. Like it's not, um, you may not have liked it, but it's, it's just kind of part of the game. It's a competition. Somebody's got to get it and somebody's going to be upset over it. You know, in this case, it was you. Doesn't mean that that's going to continue forever. But right now, this is how you're feeling. Like you lost out on something that was yours. It wasn't yours. He decided that it was for somebody else. And I feel like you are getting over it, but 
until you truly do and you try to you know show your professionalism then this may hinder your progress so just be aware of that let's see chariot reverse oh, something flips here as well all right king of chalices and the chariot oh, oh that's interesting so the chariot reverse is clarified by the chariot and the king of chalices I don't know if you guys have um, cancer in your birth chart. I feel like some of you, are, you know, you may be like an Aries, Sun, Cancer, Moon, especially Moon, um, or like a Cancer rising, because I, I just feel like there's like um, too much sensitivity here. Uh, you may be allowing for your emotions to um, dictate your path in your career, and that's probably not the best career move. So just be aware of that. Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, so there's a need for you to be a little bit more logical in this situation. Don't let all the feelings get mixed up. It's only business, okay? Whatever reason, maybe he did make a mistake, but it is what it is. He chose the other person. Let, it, let them find out that that was the wrong person. And then, you know, maybe that person will move on and you'll be the next in line. Who knows? But there's a need for you to be a little bit more cold don't be as emotional because that will only hold you back from success. Okay. In the future, we have the three of pentacles in the reverse. Seven of wands. Mm. Nope, too many. No, sorry. Many cards, they didn't come out right. Okay, that one came out right. Hangman. Hmm. The world. Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Cups. I think you guys are going to end up just leaving. Um... Think about it, okay? I feel like there's going to be conflict here with the Seven of Wands. I feel like you're going to come up with, or there's going to be a situation where um, you're already carrying a chip on your shoulder, shoulder, and then something else happens, and you're like, no, I'm going to stand up for myself now. But all that gets you is an ending. You having to walk away, just give this job up, or this career, or whatever it is. Um, you're going to have to walk away. It's an ending here, and then you may be stuck in limbo for a while so you know unless you have to do this i would think twice before doing it yourself like maybe you know don't do it impulsively because that's kind of what i'm getting here that because of impulse of like too many emotions um you might do something that's gonna uh hurt you for quite a while so you might want to have something else in line before you do this okay because i feel like this is really directly caused um by you because like i said you're already Oh, harboring these negative feelings and then you kind of just let it blow up and you have no choice but to walk away so just be aware of that this is all something that you can avoid prevent um, but I'm going to tell you June is going to be kind of a, a crappy month and we're starting retrogrades and all of that so you might just want to bite your tongue this month and see how things um, work out work themselves out hopefully if not then you know july is a new month and we'll see what the energy looks like then but right now i just don't suggest you getting into that because it's not going to work out in your favor all right aries thank you guys i'll see you guys soon